Welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic will cover how to add a subcontractor. Adding subcontractors in RMS will assist the prime contractor in monitoring the subcontractor's performance in terms of contract requirements. Subcontractors are linked in other features of RMS such as pay activities. In order to get started, we're going to go ahead and enter into our contract. Then on the contract menu, we're going to click on the administration tab and we're going to click on the blue tile that says subcontractors. Here we can see a data grid with all of our subcontractors within our contract. We can add a subcontractor by simply clicking on the left hand corner on the add button. Now we'll enter in our unique contractor code. Now that we've added our subcontractor, we can begin filling out information in regards to our subcontractor. At the top, we can fill out the contractor short name, which is limited to a maximum of 20 characters, our contractor full name, which is limited to 60 characters. We can then enter the first and last day on site. Our next section is a section to add the address for our subcontractor. To set the trade of our subcontractor, just click on the blue tile. Then from the lookup menu, select the appropriate contract trade for the subcontractor that you're adding. Then click OK. The next section is our subcontractor amount. The subcontractor amount is the full amount of the subcontract and is required by the Prompt Payment Act and is used in the progress payment request. In the last section, which is composed of checkboxes in one drop-down menu, we see that we have our very first checkbox to mark if our contractor is a small business. To track insurance, mark the second checkbox. To track submitted payrolls, mark payroll required. This drop down menu here indicates the ending day of the week of the subcontractor's typical payroll week. Here we just select the ending day of the week for our subcontractor. Then lastly, if applicable, we can use the last day as the payroll and override or if our contractor is a second tiered sub, we would mark the final checkbox.